Right. Uh, very good evening to all of you. Good evening. Oh, our regular students are there. Taufik, Smita, Yojana, Dr. Pushpendra Singh. Pushpendra, good evening. Mohammad Taufik. Uh, all of you can hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Excellent students of India. Chaliye. Let's not waste any more time. Chaliye, let's proceed. One second. Chaliye. Okay. Shall we proceed? All of you can hear me. Many, many join. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Now, please, uh, hold for a moment. My dear students, I started my regular FM course. I started my regular FM course uh, on an academy plus. I think uh, we started some 10 days ago, a regular course. Oh, Anusha joined, very good. And uh, daily 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, we are taking classes. Can you hear me, all of you? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, regularly from 8 to 10, I'm taking classes on FM. After that, uh, like, uh, I'll be starting strength of materials song. Uh, then song ke baad hopefully thermo or HMT. Then we have uh, IC engines, power plant, uh, machine design, heat transfer. All those I'll be covering sequentially. But I'm available on heat platform. Yeah, thermodynamics. Yeah, exactly. Now you can use uh, my referral code PK 006. That is Pravin Kulkarni 006. Chalo. Uh, daily my regular classes are coming from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. No issues at all. Take a second. So I'll come just now. Chaliye. Right. Uh, Let's not waste time now. Let's proceed. So in the last class, my dear students, in the last class, kis kis ne nashta nahi kiya? Kyun re baba? Ha? Nashta dila re kya? To bala, batao, hum bhi aayenge aapke paas. English please. Okay. English please. If I use English, then Hindi please. This is the beauty. This is the beauty. English please. If it is English, then Hindi please. So I'll be using both languages judiciously. First, I'll be explaining in. First, I'll be explaining in English. Then a bit of Hindi. Dono languages, man. No Telugu, George Garo. No Telugu. Oh, or कौन है? बहुत लोग जुड़ रहे हैं आज तो बहुत बहुत लोग जुड़ रहे हैं. चलो. अब let us not waste time, my dear students. Come back straight away to the logics. We have started air standard cycles. Yeah, sir. Please complete icing. That's what uh, I'm trying my level best. Air standard cycles. My dear students, we have seen assumptions. In the last class, we saw assumptions. Those assumptions were. Oh, Nitin Hembram, very good, very good. So, assumptions were, let me, let us recollect what we have discussed in the last class in one minute. I mean, eight standard cycles, assumptions. The first assumption is the working fluid is air. The second assumption is air is treated as an ideal gas. 
air is treated as an ideal gas chalo as an ideal gas third cp and cv remain constant working fluid is of is of fixed mass chemical composition yes my dear student that's what i am thinking uh, to complete your ic engines neatly the chemical composition remains constant and uh, all all processes are internally reversible yes es point of view okay internally reversible this we have seen in the last class this we saw in the last class no problem at all now today we'll take up first i repeat let us take up first a standard cycle are namune mere acha internally reversible pushpendra ji my last ic engine class mein bataya tha the physical meaning of internally reversible when i say internally reversible internally at each and every state all properties are uniform means at any given time at one point if the temperature is 300 at all points it is 300 at one point if the pressure is 10 bar at all points it is 10 bar so everywhere it is same means there is no in equilibrium inside the system therefore already i have told this in earlier class chalo now let us take the first a standard cycle that is otto cycle this is also known as constant volume cycle i'll tell you the reason this is also known as constant volume cycle when i go to my actual ic engines there i will be tell you there i'll be telling you there i'll be telling you why auto cycle is the reference cycle for si engines why diesel cycle is the reference cycle for uh, uh, ci engines this i'll explain in when we go to my actual engines don't worry at all now this cycle consists of four processes i repeat mean, this cycle consists of four processes 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 and finally 4 to 1 okay very good now please it's a request to all of you i am trying my level best to cover this intern in ic engines i am planning and i am trying my level best to give this complete internal uh, combustion engines free of uh, in terms of like special classes free classes to mera ek hi request hai कि आप टाइम पे ज्वाइन हो जाइए सो प्लीज ज्वाइन ऑन टाइम सो दैट द क्लास इज ऑफ ओनली वन आवर ड्यूरेशन सो दैट वी कैन एंजॉय द क्लास नाउ वन टू टू इज रिवर्सिबल एडियाबैटिक कंप्रेशन लुक एट when i started when i start ic engines it means i expect you to know some basics of thermodynamics so in this special class i cannot teach you core basics so i expect you to know some basics of thermodynamics when we say reversible adiabatic it means isentropic and you should be very careful in thermo i'll be teaching iso though reversible adiabatic is isentropic isentropic need not be reversible adiabatic this i'll explain beautifully in thermodynamics okay now my dear students let us represent this cycle both on ts and pv diagram ek second let me represent the cycle both on ts and pv diagram chalo let this be pv and let this be ts it's a humble request to all of you i'm requesting you 
not to make any comments in between first understand whenever i say i'll comment uh, whenever i say something dekho hamara regular subscribe course mein kya bolte hain nc section is in tag nc section ka matlab no comment section okay ab dekho now observe ab nc lagu hai means no comments 1 to 2 is reversible adiabatic compression during this compression you know volume decreases pressure increases so look at my dear students volume is decreasing pressure is increasing so this is before compression the before compression the volume is given and before compression the pressure is given now during already we have seen will be seeing in thermo also ki it will be something like this why the curve is like this actually i'll be deriving one equation pv raised to power uh, gamma is equal to constant based on that i'll get so this is point 1 and this is point 2 what is 1 to 2 reversible adiabatic compression or reversible adiabatic is also isentropic but please note down that converse is not true isentropic need not be reversible adiabatic to ab aaiye 1 to 2 what is 1 to 2 isentropic what is isentropic entropy remains constant when entropy remains constant it is a ts diagram so it will be vertical vertical can be upward or downward but you are compressing to compression mein temperature kya hota hai badhta hai isliye ye line kaha jata hai it will go to the top so therefore 1 to 2 is compression 1 to 2 is compression so which compression reversible adiabatic or isentropic so for isentropic the entropy is constant as it is compression the temperature increases this is 1 to 2 now observe you know my dear students ic engines are reciprocating engines therefore ye jo hai ye hai 1 this volume is this concrete volume is given now i am compressing this volume is after compression already i have discussed in earlier class that is first ic engines class volume before compression to volume after compression is known as compression ratio this is the volume before compression this is the volume after compression and v1 by v2 is known as compression ratio today i will give you the significance of compression ratio why are we calculating compression ratio in ic engines i'll tell you so internal combustion engines are reciprocating engines so it is reciprocating engines ab mai bataya aapko it is a closed system analysis the last class ic engines first class mai bataya tha it is a closed system analysis means mass remains constant तो अब देखिए अब ध्यान से सुनो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज लिजन माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स यस अब प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड ये जो है प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड नाउ दिस इज आफ्टर कंप्रेशन एंड दिस इज बिफोर कंप्रेशन दिस इज बिफोर कंप्रेशन दिस इज आफ्टर कंप्रेशन अब हम क्या करेंगे सो वी वन बाई वी टू इज नथिंग बट कंप्रेशन रेशियो टूडे विल सी दिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ कंप्रेशन रेशियो एक्सलेंट नाउ व्हाट वी डू इज माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी फिक्स इट वी फिक्स इट नाउ वी एड हीट एक्सटर्नली बिकॉज हम बताए थे इन एयर स्टैंडर्ड साइकिल्स there is no combustion are yaar combustion ke liye you need fuel and you need oxygen but in this cylinder it is a air standard cycle we have only air so only air does not undergo any combustion but externally heat is supplied hum kya kiye yahan pe supports fix kiye observe we have fixed the supports and we have started heating Answer, so no. So when we fix the supports and heat it, the volume is kept constant. It is a constant volume heat addition. Two to three is 
a constant volume heat addition constant volume heat addition excellent excellent my dear students you know that pv is equal to mrt because working fluid can be taken as ideal gas whenever i use ideal gas equation temperature should be strictly in kelvin because in thermo i'll be teaching in second law ideal gas temperature scale and kelvin scale both are same so when ideal gas equation use kar rahe you should use kelvin scale because ideal gas scale and temperature uh, kelvin scales are same and p should be absolute pressure jab bhi aap ideal gas equation use karte hain p should be absolute pressure t should be absolute temperature that is in kelvin okay now what are you doing from 2 to 3 volume is constant volume is constant 2 to 3 and volume is constant mass is constant because it's a fixed system closed system r is constant now observe here volume is constant so p is directly proportional to t and you are supplying heat when you supply heat temperature increases when the temperature increases pressure also increases therefore jab aap 2 se lekar 3 tak heat supply kar rahe hai to kya hoga ye stops apply karna when you fix this stops and this Uh, this piston cannot move when it cannot move it is a constant volume process now i am adding heat when i add heat the temperature increases at constant volume when the temperature increases the pressure also increases therefore now it will rise like this so this is 2 to 3 oh eight second please this is 2 to 3 okay now right now is ko hamara ko koi dikkat nahi so i take care of this don't worry this is 2 to 3 this is 2 to 3 now observe here and you know my dear students for 2 to 3 we are why is not clear now for 2 to 3 the volume i am close to mic itself so 2 to 3 it is a constant volume heat addition so 2 to 3 it is a constant volume heat addition dekho now observe here my dear students understand things carefully now have a look at this so we are supplying heat from 2 to 3 now how do i show same 2 to 3 here how do i show and from thermodynamics we know that from thermodynamics we know that please answer here on ts diagram constant pressure will be like this constant volume will be like this because we will be deriving that slope of constant volume on ts diagram is t by cv and the slope of constant pressure is t by cp based on those slopes i can draw this more slope means constant volume less slope means constant pressure so therefore my dear students now this will be my constant this will be my please observe here this will be my constant volume heat addition on ts diagram constant volume curves are like this सेम टू टू थ्री प्रोसेस को हम ऐसा दिखाते हैं यहाँ पे वॉल्यूम कांस्टेंट है सो व्हाई द टेम्परेचर इज इंक्रीजिंग बिकॉज वी आर सप्लाइंग हीट फ्रॉम टू टू थ्री एट कांस्टेंट वॉल्यूम नाउ वी आर एट स्टेट थ्री वन टू टू इज रिवर्सिबल एडिबेटिक कंप्रेशन रिवर्सिबल एडिबेटिक कंप्रेशन टू टू थ्री इज कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम हीट एडिशन एंड नाउ वील गो टू थ्री टू फोर थ्री टू फोर इज रिवर्सिबल एडियाबैटिक एक्सपेंशन अब देखना हम ये स्टॉप को हटा देंगे देखो जब आप हीट सप्लाई कर रहे हैं सप्लाइंग हीट एट कॉन्स्टेंट जब स्टॉप वेन वी यूज स्टॉप एंड सप्लाइड हीट एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम वेन यू आर हीटिंग इट द टेम्परेचर इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड प्रेशर इज इंक्रीजिंग सो नाउ इन साइड द प्रेशर इज वेरी हाई आई रिमूव स्टॉप वेन आई रिमूव स्टॉप द गैस एक्सपैंड and this is nothing but approximated as reversible adiabatic that is isentropic expansion reversible adiabatic expansion and my dear students reversible adiabatic compression is like this and reversible adiabatic expansion is like this kyunki expansion mein pressure ghat raha hai aur volume badh raha hai this is my 3 to 4 process and how can i show same 3 to 4 it is reversible adiabatic What is reversible adiabatic isotropic? How do I show isotropic on TS diagram? 
constant entropy, vertical end, but it is expansion. During expansion, temperature is decreasing. When temperature is decreasing, we move down. Therefore, this is our reversible adiabatic expansion. Excellent. Now, last one is 4 to 1. That 4 to 1, because it is a cycle, 4 to 1 is constant volume heat rejection. Because, and when heat is supplied, temperature is increasing at constant volume. When heat is supplied, temperature is increasing, pressure is increasing. When heat is rejected, temperature is decreasing, pressure is decreasing. So this is a constant volume heat rejection. I repeat, this is a constant volume heat rejection. Now, my dear students, let's, uh, let's show this. This is the constant volume heat rejection. And how can I show this process on the diagram? Constant volume curves are like this. Heat supply temperature increases. And heat rejection temperature decreases. Okay, now the temperature is decreasing. This is my constant volume heat rejection. This is the representation of auto cycle on PV and TS diagram. Thanks, you know. 1 to 2 is reversible adiabatic, 2 to 3 is constant volume heat addition. 3 to 4 is constant uh, entropy that is reversible adiabatic expansion. 4 to 1 is constant volume heat rejection. Abdeko, why the cycle is known as constant volume cycle? Let us see. What is 1 to 2 process? Reversible adiabatic. Means there is no heat transfer in 1 to 2. It is adiabatic. What is 3 to 4 process? Reversible adiabatic. There is no heat transfer in 3 to 4. During auto cycle, Whatever the heat transfer is occurring, it is occurring in 2 to 3 and 4 to 1. 1 se lekar 2 tak koi heat transfer nahi hai, kyunki wo adiabatic hai. 3 se lekar 4 tak koi heat transfer nahi hai, kyunki wo adiabatic hai. 2 to 3 heat supply, 4 to 1 heat rejection. Dhyan se suno. In auto cycle, heat supply and heat rejection, both are occurring at constant volume processes. Therefore, the supply is occurring at constant volume, rejection is occurring at constant volume. That's why this cycle is known as constant volume cycle. Very good, my dear students. Now, just understand carefully. Dhyan se suno. Ek baar direction dekhna cycle ka. Ek baar start from one. Start from one. See the direction. So it is clockwise. A cycle which is clockwise on PV will always be clockwise on TS. Agar ek cycle clockwise PV pe hota hai, TS pe bhi wo P, uh, kya hota hai? Clockwise hota hai. Ek baat Like this, like this, like this, like this. It is clockwise. And in thermo, I'll be teaching you. All clockwise cycles are power producing cycles. All clockwise cycles are what? Power producing cycles. One minute, please. Right. All clockwise cycles are power producing cycles, power producing cycles. Whenever I say power producing, the first thing that you have to focus is efficiency. When I go to RAC, they are power absorbing. For power absorbing, the parameter is COP. For power producing, the parameter is efficiency. Now let us focus on all of you, my dear students. Is the cycle clear? Now I want in, the, in terms of comments. Yes or no? All of you, is the cycle clear? Ariyan, my regular students ko to. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Ye to sare mere regular students hi hai. Mere fluid ke regular students hi hai ye. Wah, chalo. Now, my dear students, let's understand carefully. This is my code that is PK006. Ab dekhna hai baat. Ab no comments please. Ab, ab no comment section lago hai. No comment section lago hai. That's all. Now, 
please my dear students don't be in hurry don't be in hurry don't be in hurry yes let us take either pv or ds both no problem at all my dear students dhyan se suno why generally we go for pv and ds main bata do suno let us take pv diagram reversible adiabatic compression that is 1 to 2 constant volume heat addition 2 to 3 reversible adiabatic expansion 3 to 4 and constant volume heat rejection so here i write qr and here i write qs excellent my dear students dhyan se suno actually agar aap dekhenge please please don't be in hurry don't be in hurry agar aap dekhenge aisa show karenge this is the volume this total volume my dear students this is the total volume before compression now you compress it now start work compress kar rahe hain kahan tak we can compress up to what clearance volume we can compress up to clearance volume this is v2 which is also equal to vc now please understand carefully piston is moving from this end to this end it is moving from this end to this end piston is going from this end to this end and you know that volume we call it as you know my dear students ye pura volume we call it as the swept volume because the piston is moving from this end to this end it is our swept volume don't be in hurry let me cover neatly this is our swept volume okay so this is our swept volume now i write this as my dear students vs okay this is vs this is v2 which is also equal to clearance volume and this is the volume before compression and this is the volume after compression and r is the compression ratio which is v1 by v2 excellent now let us try to find out the efficiency this efficiency i call it as thermal efficiency look at my difference in second law of thermodynamics we have seen efficiency as net useful work efficiency is output by input so this output is nothing but it is a clockwise cycle in clockwise cycles you are getting some useful work that net useful work we call it as output so that is net useful work now what is the input the input is heat supply the input is heat supply and this heat supply is thermal energy this input is thermal energy that's why when the input is thermal energy you call it as thermal efficiency as the input is thermal energy you call it as thermal efficiency excellent my dear students when you study first law of thermodynamics for a cycle when you study first law of thermodynamics for a cycle net work is also equal to net heat this you will be studying in first law so net work is equal to net heat net heat is always heat supply minus heat rejection net heat is always heat supply minus rejection so net work is net heat net heat is supply minus rejection that is the network by heat supply so therefore now the thermal efficiency is isko separate kar dena qs by qs minus qr by qs qs by qs is 1 minus qr by qs this is my equation my dear students now let us try to calculate the efficiency dhyan se suno my dear students all of you listen carefully now i told you very clearly in one of the assumptions we have seen that it is a 
working fluid is of fixed mass i repeat working fluid is of fixed mass means closed system analysis dhyan se sunna ic engine air standard cycles are closed system analysis matlab koi mass andar nahi ja raha hai koi mass bahar nahi aa raha there are no valves but actual engines mein there are valves these are air standard hypothetical therefore now for a closed system i uh, see agar aap gas turbines padhenge in gas turbines every device is treated as a steady flow device matlab steady flow flow ka matlab open system there i'll be writing steady flow energy equation h1 plus c1 square by 2 all those things but yahan pe it is a closed system and see if i take now if i take now we have taken some air in this no walls that air is compressed to that air heat is supplied the same air is expanding so that's why it is a closed system analysis and for closed system in first law of thermodynamics d dash q is equal to du plus d dash w please apply this equation please up all of you are you following all of you wah my regular students are giving superb answers that is the beauty okay now ab dekhna let's go for uh 2 to 3 let's go for 2 to 3 don't write don't no comments ab suno 2 to 3 what is 2 to 3 process dekho ek baar what is 2 to 3 process constant volume heat constant volume heat supply ek baar suno please look at my dear students see for 2 to 3 volume is constant when volume is constant piston is not moving so no work is done hum dekhe the thermo mein padhenge constant volume closed system processes mein work transfer generally kya hota hai zero but there is a special case paddle wheel yahan pe koi paddle wheel wheel nahi hai so constant volume constant volume work fir se bata raha hu in constant volume what is equal to zero so mera equation hai d dash q for 2 to 3 is equal to du for 2 to 3 d dash w for 2 to 3 why are you using pranam sabko pranam why are you using this equation because we made an assumption of closed system analysis so this is applicable for closed system now dekho so heat transfer in 2 to 3 is equal to du in 2 to 3 and work in 2 to 3 2 to 3 is a constant volume constant volume mein piston move nahi ho raha hai jab piston move nahi ho raha hai work is what zero 2 to 3 mein work zero hai so heat transfer in 2 to 3 is equal to internal energy change internal energy change okay now observe my dear students now heat transfer in 2 to 3 is equal to uh, what is that Uh, internal energy change in 2 to 3 1 second you will be studying that for a constant volume process internal energy change is given by mcv dt all these are thermo concepts all these are thermo concepts for uh, for constant volume process and you know for uh, yeah the internal energy change is given by mcv dt the process is occurring from 2 to 3 2 to 3 का मतलब mcv dt dt का मतलब क्या है फाइनल माइनस इनिशियल प्रोसेस हो रहा है 2 to 3 सो 3 फाइनल है और 2 इनिशियल है दिस इज द हीट ट्रांसफर इन 2 to 3 नाउ आई विल राइट दिस 2 to 3 बट इन 2 to 3 यू आर सप्लाइंग इन 2 to 3 यू आर सप्लाइंग देयरफॉर हीट सप्लाई इज इक्वल टू mcv t3 t2 सिमिलरली नाउ आई विल गो फॉर 4 to 1 प्रोसेस 4 to 1 इज constant volume heat rejection 4 to 1 is constant volume heat rejection dekho d dash q is equal to du for 4 to 1 plus d dash w 4 to 1 okay and you know very well for 4 to 1 for 4 to 1 it is a constant volume process piston is not moving volume fixed so work transfer in constant volume from your thermodynamics is what zero so 4 to 1 work is zero 
So heat transfer in four to one is internal energy change. What is internal energy change? MCV delta T. Process is occurring from where? Four to one means one is final. Four to one, one is final. Deco, I repeat. The process is occurring from four to one. One is initial, four, four is initial, one is final. Change is final, that is T1 minus initial, that is T4. Therefore, T1 minus T4. Plus, this is internal energy change. Internal energy change can be written as MCVDT from your thermodynamics. And the work transfer for a constant volume is zero. Therefore, heat transfer for four to one is, I will take minus common. When I take minus common, it will be minus TV, T4 minus T1. And I'll attach minus on this side. Negative heat transfer 4 to 1 is, I'll take minus on this side. MCV T4 minus T1. Can you tell the meaning of negative heat? Negative heat means heat rejection. Negative heat means heat rejection. This is heat rejection. Negative heat comes up heat rejection. And that is MCV T4 minus T1. Now, my dear students, have a look at this. Heat supply is this, heat rejection is this. So, agar aapko efficiency chahiye, which efficiency? Thermal efficiency. Why are you calling it as thermal efficiency? Because input is taken as heat. Therefore, heat energy is taken as input. Therefore, we call it as thermal energy. So, efficiency is already have given. What is the equation of efficiency? What is the equation of efficiency? 1 minus rejection by supply. 1 minus rejection by supply. 1 minus rejection by supply. So therefore, 1 minus rejection by supply. So efficiency is equal to 1 minus. What is rejection, my dear students? So it is MCB T4 minus T1. Excellent. By supply. What is supply? MCB MCB T3 minus T2. Excellent. Excellent. Now, let's go for efficiency. So, now my dear students, M, M is gone. CV, CV is gone. Therefore, efficiency is 1 minus T4 minus T1 by T3 minus T2. Excellent. So, efficiency can be written as 1 minus. Let us take from the numerator T1 power. When you take T1 Bahar, it will be T4 by T1 minus 1. And when you take T2 Bahar from denominator, it will be T3 by T2 minus 1. Excellent. Now, let us mark this as some equation capital 1, capital 1, capital 1. Now, my dear students, let's proceed. Take second date neither. No one should be in hurry because let us learn the subject neatly. Deco. So I represent this auto cycle on PV diagram. This is point 1. 1 to 2 is reversible adiabatic compression. 2 to 3 is heat supply. 3 to 4 is reversible adiabatic expansion. And 4 to 1 is heat reduction. Look at. Let us take 1 to 2 process. My dear students, 1 to 2 is reversible adiabatic. 1 to 2 is reversible adiabatic. Excellent. 1 to 2 is reversible adiabatic. And already you know the working fluid is an ideal gas. My dear students, in thermodynamics, I will be deriving for reversible adiabatic ideal gas P1 V1 gamma is equal to P2 V2 gamma. Then T1 V1 gamma minus 1 is equal to a QRI that will be explained in thermodynamics and T2 by T1 is equal to P2 by T1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma. Please stop my dear students. All these three equations are valid only when three conditions are satisfied. Most of the students have some uh, like uh, not complete knowledge. I'm not saying almost. So this equation must be applied only when three conditions are satisfied. Out of three, even if one condition is not satisfied, you cannot apply these equations. 
ये तीनों को अप्लाई होने के लिए रिवर्सिबल होना जरूरी है एडियोबैटिक होना जरूरी है आइडियल गैस होना जरूरी है दिस आई विल बी डिराइविंग इन बेसिक थर्मोडाइनमिक्स दैट्स व्हाई बेसिक थर्मोडाइनमिक्स इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट नाउ माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स सिमिलरली व्हाट इज 3 टू 4 प्रोसेस देखो एक बार व्हाट इज 3 टू 4 यस इट इज रिवर्सिबल एडियोबैटिक 1 to 2 is reversible adiabatic compression 3 to 4 is reversible adiabatic expansion and my working fluid is air which is an ideal gas so all the three conditions are satisfied even for this process therefore now i write p3 v3 gamma is equal to p4 v4 gamma and t3 v3 gamma minus 1 is equal to t4 v4 gamma minus 1 and T3 by T4 is equal to P3 by P4 power gamma minus 1 by gamma. Can you know? You have no authority to apply PB power gamma is equal to constant for any adiabatic. It should be applied for a reversible adiabatic that too when the working fluid is an ideal gas. If reversible adiabatic is not an ideal gas, then we can PB power gamma ko apply nahi kar paenge, is equal to constant. So be careful. Now let's go to this equation. Deco, uh, I'll, I'll highlight these equations. Today I'm very, very happy ki you are sincerely listening and following instructions. No comment means no comment. Don't write me. Very happy with you because hum jo regular course of FM kar rahe. The rhythm se chal hai. Rhythm ka matlab, terrific rhythm se chal hai. I'm very happy that even in special class, though there are many students viewing, but they are following that discipline. I'm very thankful to you. Thank you. Deco. Now we'll move to no comments. No comments. Deco. No. Deco. Now, T1 V1 gamma minus 1 is equal to T2 V2 gamma minus 1. This equation I'm using. So T2 by T1 is equal to T2 by T1 is V1 by V2 power gamma minus 1 by gamma. Sunna, T2 by T1 is V1 by V2 gamma minus 1. But everyone knows V1 is volume before compression, V2 is volume after compression. Before compression and after compression ratio, we call it as compression ratio. R is compression ratio, which is volume before compression to the volume after compression. So therefore, Therefore, my dear students, uh, so a second. Uh -huh. Therefore, uh, already we have this equation. I have taken this equation. They go. Yes. So uh, V1 by V2 is R power gamma minus 1. So T2 by T1 is equal to a very, very important equation hai, R power gamma minus 1. Is ko hum kya karenge? Gold color, agar koi hai, to gold color mein save karenge. Gold color mein save karenge. Excellent. Similarly, now take this equation. Isko le lege. I'll take this equation. Isko. Ha. T3 by T4 is equal to. Ha. T3 by T4 is V4 by V3 power gamma minus 1. Excellent. Or T3 by T4 is equal to V4. Can you tell the relationship between V4 and V1? It is a constant volume. This is on volume axis. 4 volume and 1 volume, it is a constant volume. V4 is V1. Similarly, 2 to 3 is a constant volume. So 3 and 2 are same. So therefore, V3 can be written as V2. Gamma minus 1. Excellent. So dekna, what is V1 by V2? R. What is V1 by V2? R. Therefore, now observe my dear students. Don't be in hurry. Observe. Observe here. Therefore, T3 by T4 is equal to V1 by V2 is R power gamma minus 1. Matlab, my dear students, idhar dekhna, idhar dekhna. Let's see these two equations. Let's see these two equations. Let's see these two equations. T2 by T1 is R gamma minus 1. T3 by T4 is R gamma minus 1. And if you see the right hand side, it is equal. So left hand side should be equal. Left hand side should be equal. This ka matlab ho gaya. This ka matlab ho gaya. T2 by T1 is equal to T3 by T4. Fir se bata T2 by T1 is R gamma minus 1. 
T3 by T4 is R government strength. Both are R government strength. So this should be same. So T2 by T1 is T3 by T4. T2 by T1 is T3 by T4. That means a very powerful equation in auto cycle. Ka. This is a very, very powerful equation in auto cycle. So this is how I say T2 T4. T2 T4 is T1 T3. 1 3 is odd. 2 4 is even. So product of odd temper, odd 1 3, even 2 4. So now I read product of odd temperatures is equal to product of even temperatures. This is very important. Chalo, kya mai isko aise sakta? Ek baar dekna. My dear students, let's come back. I wrote equation number, Roman number. So, isko mein, please my dear students, isko kya karunga? Isko la next slide mein lehunga. So, kya hai ye? I'll take in the next slide. Efficiency is equal to uh, 1 minus T1 by T2. Okay. We'll take in the next slide. Uh, T1 by T2 T1 by T2. T4 by T1, T3 by T2. T4 by T1, T3 by T2. T4 by T1, T3 by T2 minus 1. Okay. Ab dekhna. Now, you take this equation, my dear students. Don't be in a hurry. You take this equation, Iharana. What I do is, I want T4 by T1. Ye T4 ko idhar lana, or T2 ko idhar lana. So, T4 by T1. T4 by T4 by T3 by T3 is equal to T3 by T2. Yaad rakna. T4 by T1. T4 by T1 is same as T3 by T2. Same as T3 by T2. Is T4 by T1 ko hum kya lik sakte? This T4 by T1 can be written as T3 by T2. T3 by T2 minus 1. T3 by T2 minus 1. Ye cancel ho jayega. Kyunki T4 by T1 is same as T3 by T2. So finally the efficiency is 1 minus T1 by T2. Can you tell me what is T1? Temperature before compression. What is T2? Temperature after compression. So point 1 is before compression. Sir, it's the temperature product condition is 1. My dear student, Jess Singh has asked a very good question. Is the product of odd is equal to product of even value for R? No. Kal hum jab diesel cycle padenge, usme hum nahi dikhayenge, aur uske saath reason bhi batayenge. Uske saath re no, it is valid for Brayton cycle, it is valid for Otto cycle. I'll tell you reason, I'll tell you reason. Don't worry, abhi nahi, abhi nahi, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sab ek hi din mein kaisa hoga, nahi hoga. Okay, so temporary, so T1 is temperature before compression and T2 is temperature after compression. Now already you know what is T2 either dekna. What is T2 by T1 R power gamma minus 1? What is T2 by T1 R power gamma minus 1? So therefore T2 by T1 is R power gamma minus 1. So the efficiency of Octo cycle is given by 1 minus T1 by T2. Isko ulta karna. Ulta karna. T1 by T2 hai. Isko ulta karna. So it will be 1 by R power gamma minus 1. A very very important relationship. So finally a student appearing for gate and engineering services preliminary. Finally a student and those who are appearing for engineering services. They should know the complete derivation. And those who are appearing for now. Prelims to hai, ES ka prelims hai. Gate, for gate and ES prelims, you should know two important things. Now I'll tell you what are those two important things. Now I'll tell you what are those two important things. One, product of odd temperature is equal to product of even temperature. Second, efficiency is 1 minus 1 by R power gamma minus 1. So now let us see the beauty here. Are Namune, have you followed? All of you have you followed? Bullet Kumar, the Baba, you have one bullet, bullet Kumar. Oh, oh. awesome students. Are a response are Wow, wow, excellent, 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 excellent. 
वेरी हैप्पी वेरी हैप्पी मजा आ रहा है चलो ना एक सेकेंड पी के जीरो जीरो सिक्स कोड को इस्तेमाल करना यू फॉलो मी ऑन दिस सो देट कमिंग लाइक टर्बो मिशनरी वेलॉसिटी ट्राइंगल्स ये सब मैं बताऊंगा सो टू फॉलो मी यूज दिस लाइक यू कैन फॉलो मी बाई यूजिंग दिस कोड पी के नॉट नॉट सिक्स नमूना बैच है बिल्कुल सही है नमूने बैच है ना लुक एट माई डे स्टूडेंट्स ना लुक एट Yes, my dear students, what I do is on this axis I take R, that is compression ratio. On this axis I take R, that is compression ratio. And on this axis I take efficiency. I would like to plot efficiency versus compression ratio. Thanks, sir. Already you have an equation for efficiency. whenever you want to draw any curve or line or graph you should know slope slope is nothing but dy by dx so agar aapko slope chahiye to d theta that is dy by dx that is dr already n as a function of r is known i can easily find out the slope from this slope i can construct common sense for i use karenge let us take r is equal to 1 What do we mean by R is equal to one? R is nothing but volume before compression to the volume after compression. So V one is equal to V two. This का मतलब क्या है? कोई compression ही नहीं हुआ. जब कोई compression ही नहीं हुआ, कोई expansion भी नहीं होगा. जब कोई expansion भी नहीं होगा, तो work ही नहीं मिलेगा. जब work ही नहीं मिलेगा, तो efficiency will be zero. I repeat, my dear students, when compression ratio is one, R is V one by V two. One, one. When V one is equal to V two, volume before compression and volume after compression are same. This means the compression is not going to happen. When compression is not going to happen, when compression is not taking place, expansion is not taking place. When expansion is not taking place, do not work. When there is no work, efficiency is zero. That's why this we put R to one. So here R is zero. On this axis, you have R. R is one. R is two, R is three, R is four, R is five, R is six, so on so forth. So I am increasing R. Do my part. When R is one, one power something is one. When R is one, one power something is one. One by one is one. One minus one is zero. And so when compression ratio is one, the efficiency is what zero. When compression ratio is one, efficiency is zero. My first point here. Now, observe, my dear students, all of you, listen, observe here. Now, okay. <coughs> When R is first, we'll see mathematically. Then we'll see physically. When R is increasing, my, zada compress kar raha. When R is increasing. R power something is increasing. When R power something is increasing, it is in the denominator. Denominator बढ़ रहा है. जब denominator बढ़ रहा है, तो ये value घट रहा है. जब ये value घट रहा है, negative घट रहा है, तो ये value बढ़ेगा. फिर से बता रहा हूँ सुनो. First mathematically, then physically. Mathematically बता रहा हूँ. When R is increasing, when R is increasing, R is increasing. This value will increase, but it is in the denominator. This is increasing. This is increasing. So this value will decrease. Negative decrease का मतलब कम subtract कर रहे हैं तो efficiency बढ़ेगा. जब compression ratio बढ़ रहा है तो efficiency बढ़ेगा. और already आप जानते हैं slope को हम इस line से calculate करेंगे. तो जब आप construct करेंगे you have something like this. Now let us see physically. जब compression ratio बढ़ाने पे efficiency क्यों बढ़ रहा है? ध्यान से सुनो. When you are increasing the compression ratio, means you are zada compress kar rahe. When you compress it more, it will expand more. Means when the compression ratio is more, there is more scope for expansion. जब zada expand हो रहा है, तो work zada मिलेगा. So for a given input, when the work output is more, efficiency will increase. फिर से बता रहा हूँ. 
when compression ratio is increased more compression when the compression is more more scope for expansion when there is more scope for expansion more work output when the work output is more for a given heat input when the work output is more efficiency will increase so when someone asks you in interview what is the significance of compression ratio in ic engines your answer should be this my dear students with increasing compression ratio the efficiency increases that's why we calculate compression ratio to agar zyada compress karenge wo zyada expand hoga matlab uska expansion ka kshamta ya expansion ka scope will increase jab zyada compress karenge to compression ratio badhega jab compression ratio badhega to zyada expand hoga jab zyada expand hoga when it expands more you get more work output when you are getting more output for a given input the efficiency will increase this is the one and one more thing this efficiency is depending on two parameters one is compression ratio other is gamma jab compression ratio bad raha hai to efficiency bad raha hai agar gamma bad raha hai my dear students listen carefully next expand when gamma is increasing again this value increases when gamma is increasing again this value increases when this value increases this total denominator gamma jab badhta hai to ye badhta hai jab ye badhta hai to ye ghatta hai negative karta hai efficiency badhta hai matlab increase in gamma will result in increase in efficiency so now we'll plot for sum gamma and we'll plot for sum other gamma we'll plot for sum other gamma yes dekho dhyan se suno Okay, uh, uh, I'll come, Jay Singh Ji. Wait a second. Let me come to it. Wait a second. Observe, bro. I have taken some points here. This point, this point, this point. All of them have same compression ratio. All of them have same compression ratio. How much? Two. But one has an efficiency of nita one. Second has an efficiency of nita two, and third has an efficiency of nita three. तो सेम कंप्रेशन रेशो पर जब गामा ज्यादा होता है तो ये वैल्यू ज्यादा होगा डिनोमिनेटर ज्यादा होगा तो ये घटेगा नेगेटिव घटेगा एफिशिएंसी बढ़ेगा किसका एफिशिएंसी ज्यादा होगा जिसका गामा ज्यादा है तो दिस गामा इज मोर देन दिस एंड दिस गामा इज मोर देन दिस सो इफ आई एम राइट इन दिस डायरेक्शन गामा इज इंक्रीजिंग इसका मतलब है ध्यान से सुनो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स अगर मोनो एटॉमिक गैसेस लेते हैं मोनो एटॉमिक मोनो एटॉमिक गैसेस का गामा होता है 1.67 ज्यादा होता है लेकिन डाई एटॉमिक का होता है 1.4 एंड पॉली एटॉमिक का 1.33 तो अगर आप हीलियम या आर्गन दे आर मोनो एटॉमिक इफ आई यूज देयर गामा वैल्यू इज वेरी हाई देयर गामा इज वेरी हाई देयर एफिशिएंसी विल बी मोर अरे यार हैव यू फॉलोड माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हैव यू फॉलोड अरे ये तो हमारे रेगुलर स्टूडेंट्स से आंसर दे रहे हैं हमारे रेगुलर स्टूडेंट्स योजना जी हरि कुमार तौफिक भाई हमारे पुष्पेंद्र साहब वेरी गुड नाउ न्यू स्टूडेंट्स आर आल्सो कमिंग एक्सेलेंट 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 ऑसम ऑसम नाउ प्लीज स्टॉप प्लीज स्टॉप प्लीज स्टॉप नाउ ये हो गया एफिशिएंसी वर्सेस व्हाट आई से कंप्रेशन रेशियो and if someone asks you why are they calculating if uh, compression ratio your answer should be it represents the efficiency higher the compression ratio higher is the efficiency but jab hum si engines padhenge high compression ratio ka kya dikkat hoga ye hum batayenge to badi talk now banshi you are god of mechanical engineers no sir i am not i am not i am not i am not but anyway thanks for your uh, comment but i am not i am sure देखो अब हम डिस्कस करेंगे मीन इफेक्टिव प्रेशर एंड इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेन एवर वी यूज सम पैरामीटर 
डेफिनेटली इट हैज सम सिग्निफिकेंस अदरवाइज हम इंजीनियर्स ऐसे टर्म्स को 99% डिफाइन नहीं करते ओके जय सिंह जी नॉकिंग इंक्रीज बोल रहे हैं मुझे तो पता ही नहीं नॉकिंग क्या होता है हम बेसिक से चलेंगे प्लीज प्लीज बेसिक से जब चलेंगे ना सब्जेक्ट का ब्यूटी मिलता है ना ऑब्जर्व यार लेट अस टेक टीवी डायग्राम and we will draw auto cycle ek second ye hai 1 ye hai 2 ye hai 3 ye hai 4 and dekho fir se batao reversible adiabatic compression constant volume heat addition reversible adiabatic expansion constant volume heat reduction and you know very well piston yahan se lekar yahan tak move ho raha hai और ये हो गया आपका थ्री एच वॉल्यूम ये हो गया आपका टू थ्री फोर वन मैं ज्यादा बड़ी लाइन कौन सी होगी एक सेकंड लेट मी कंप्लीट आई यू डोंट वरी एक सेकंड पिस्टल इज मूविंग फ्रॉम दिस एंड टू दिस एंड एंड इट इज स्वीपिंग फ्रॉम दिस देखो and this volume we call it as swept volume which is v1 which is v2 it is sweeping from v1 to v2 so v1 minus v2 is swept volume v1 minus v2 is swept volume ab dekhte hain what is mean effective pressure see my dear students is it a power producing cycle yes now concentrate on 3 4 concentrate on 3 4 it is expansion it is expansion so during expansion is the pressure constant you tell me it is the actual cycle mark during the expansion is the pressure constant no it is decreasing it is decreasing it is decreasing dhyan se suno aap matlab ye change ho raha hai क्या चेंज हो रहा है प्रेशर चेंज हो रहा है कब चेंज हो रहा है जब एक्सपैंड हो रहा है तो आप पूछेंगे एक्सपेंशन ही क्यों ले रहा है क्योंकि आई एम गेटिंग पावर ओनली ड्यूरिंग एक्सपेंशन आई एम गेटिंग पावर ओनली ड्यूरिंग एक्सपेंशन दैट्स व्हाई आई एम चेकिंग एक्सपेंशन सो ड्यूरिंग एक्सपेंशन द प्रेशर इज ड्रॉपिंग द प्रेशर इज ड्रॉपिंग प्रेशर इज ड्रॉपिंग प्रेशर इज ड्रॉपिंग प्रेशर इज ड्रॉपिंग इट इज नॉट कांस्टेंट हियर द प्रेशर इज डिफरेंट हियर इट इज डिफरेंट हियर इट इज डिफरेंट हियर इट इज डिफरेंट यू गेट 10 इन वन सब्जेक्ट 20 in one subject 13 in one subject it is varying like this it is varying so what do you do you calculate average a hypothetical hypothetical means imaginary so what will be your average 30 uh, 50 60 60 by 3 is 20 20 20 20 matlab when you say your average is 20 i assume that you got 20 20 20 in subject mean in same but actually you didn't get 20 20 20 it is only imaginary so i am trying to find out one hypothetical mean pressure idhar aaiye okay same swept volume lijiye same swept volume same swept volume देखो वॉट एवर द स्विफ्ट वॉल इज देयर हियर ऑल्सो इज सेम वॉट एवर द स्विफ्ट चलो मैं नया प्लेस में ड्रॉ करता हूं आपके लिए डोंट वरी आई टेक थ्री मोर मिनट्स डोंट वरी दिस इज माई एक्चुअल साइकिल ओके अब सर यार This is my swept volume, which is V1 minus V2. For <coughs> now, tell me, now tell me, what is this area doing? In thermodynamics, you will be studying this area is known as not work; it is net, net. Network. Closed area is always net, net, network. Closed area network. So, what I am doing? 
एक हाइपोथेटिकल इमेजिनरी समथिंग लाइक ट्वेंटी 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 फाइंड आउट कर रहा हूं कैसे फाइंड आउट कर रहा है सच दैट फॉर द सेम स्विफ्ट वॉल्यूम देखो v1 वन माइनस वी टू वी वन माइनस वी टू दिस एरिया दिस एरिया दिस इज अगेन p we are finding out one hypothetical imaginary constant pressure such that this area for the same swept volume this area this area is same when you find out such area for that this and this is same such a constant pressure hypothetical hypothetical means imaginary hypothetical constant pressure such a hypothetical constant pressure for the same swept volume which gives same work is nothing but mean effective pressure so what is mean effective pressure ek aisa imaginary pressure hai jo same swept volume ke liye mere actual cycle mein jo work mil raha hai aur hypothetical cycle mein same work mil raha hai that constant pressure is known as mean effective pressure तो अब देखना व्हाट इज दिस वर्क नेट वर्क एंड व्हाट इज द वर्क फ्रॉम पीवी डायग्राम एरिया सो व्हाट विल बी दिस लेट अस टेक दिस एज पीएम पीएम सो व्हाट विल बी दिस वर्क एरिया लेंथ इज पीएम विथ दिस v1 v2 पीएम v1 v2 एंड दिस एरिया ऑन पीवी डायग्राम गिव्स वर्क दिस आल्सो वर्क एंड व्हेन दीस टू वर्क्स आर सेम दिस वी कॉल इट एज मीन इफेक्टिव प्रेशर व्हिच इज Net work by v1 minus v2, but what is v1 minus v2? Swept volume. फिर से बताओ सुनो। एक ऐसा hypothetical imaginary pressure, constant pressure को आप calculate कर रहे हैं, जो actual cycle और मेरे hypothetical process में same work दे रहा है। So when these two works are same for the same swept volume, for the same swept volume, when these two works are same, but here the pressure is constant. So, देखो यहाँ पे यहाँ पे तो प्रेशर चेंज हो रहा है सो दिस प्रेशर इज कॉन्स्टेंट समथिंग लाइक एवरेज टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी मार्क्स देखो एक बार थर्टी मार्क्स ट्वेंटी मार्क्स टेन मार्क्स एंड उसका मीन उसका मीन लेकिन कैसे आप टेन मार्क्स ट्वेंटी मार्क्स थर्टी मार्क्स हाउ डिड यू कैलकुलेट टोटल हियर टोटल मार्क्स हियर आर सेम सो टोटल वर्क टोटल मार्क्स आर सेम सो देर फॉर सच ए हाइपोथेटिकल प्रेशर इज नोन एज मीन इफेक्टिव प्रेशर Now a student can ask a question, sir. Why are we calculating mean effective pressure? So look at the simple case. But when we calculated, what did we fix? What did we fix? Same swept volume. When I use the word same swept volume, it means it is used for comparing engines of same size. When I use the word same swept volume, it means same size. Size means the volumetric size. so please note down that mean effective pressure is used for comparing two different engines of same size here size means swept volume ab dekhna now look at just now we calculated mean effective pressure is net work by swept volume so do engines ko compare kar raha hai do engines ko maan lo a and b when Which parameter are you using mean effective pressure? For mean effective pressure, swept volume should be fixed. It is mean effective pressure is such a term. It is used for comparing different IC engines of same size. So size means the swept volume same. So jiska jab size dono ka same hai, mean effective pressure depends only on what network. Dhyan se suno. Agar A ka mean effective pressure zada hai B se, iska matlab hai. जब ए का मीन इफेक्टिव देखो दोनों का स्विफ्ट वॉल्यूम सेम है दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कंपेरिंग कंपेरिंग सो व्हेन मीन इफेक्टिव प्रेशर ऑफ ए इज मोर इट मींस द नेट वर्क ऑफ ए इज ग्रेटर देन द नेट वर्क ऑफ बी एंड अगेन यू आर गोइंग टू कमिट मिस्टेक्स हियर आप बोलेंगे सो एफिशिएंसी ऑफ ए इज ग्रेटर देन एफिशिएंसी ऑफ बी 
बोल नहीं सकते क्योंकि एफिशिएंसी नॉट ओनली डिपेंड्स ऑन नेटवर्क इट आल्सो डिपेंड ऑन हीट सप्लाई मतलब जिसका मीन इफेक्टिव प्रेशर ज्यादा है हम गन शॉट बता सकते कि उसका नेटवर्क ज्यादा है एफिशिएंसी ज्यादा है या नहीं ये हम नहीं बता सकते बिकॉज इट डिपेंड्स ऑन हीट हीट सप्लाई फिर से बताओ सुनो अगर इंटरव्यूज में आपको पूछेंगे व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ मीन इफेक्टिव प्रेशर योर आंसर शुड बी दिस This term is used for comparing different IC engines of same size. When I use the word same size, it means swept volume is same. So when the swept volume is same, when the swept volume is same, mean effect depends on network. अगर जिसका mean effect जो ज़्यादा है, उसका network ज़्यादा होगा. तो जिसका mean effect pressure ज़्यादा है, उसका network ज़्यादा होगा. Means engine with more mean effect pressure will give me more effect, more network. But efficiency, mean effect pressure ज़्यादा होने से efficiency ज़्यादा होगा या नहीं? It all depends on heat supply. So have you followed, my dear students? Have you followed? Awesome, awesome. So that's it, my dear students. And I will notify and all the bar and uh, and having fun. Kindly note down this number, and I I'll be forming the group soon. Because uh, the time constraint is not enough here. Take this number, uh, someone in there, and just message me so that I'll add to the group and I'll do the needful. ईएससी पॉइंट ऑफ़ इसे पढ़ाऊँगा डोल परी इंजन एमिशन्स कंट्रोल सब पढ़ाऊँगा डोल परी नॉकिंग डिटरमिनेशन कार्बोरेशन फ्यूल इंजेक्शन ऑल एडिश डोल परी सो प्लीज मैसेज मी ऑन दिस एंड हाउ वाज टुडेस क्लास दैट आल्सो यू मैसेज मी सो दैट्स इट माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो सो आई टेक रेस्ट एंड बाय and again i have a class at 8 o'clock that is uh, my regular fm plus again i have to meet my bade bade log ko ko milna hai to 8 baje wo aayenge so i will notify my next class so you can follow me on facebook dekho praveen kulkarni ye mera profile hai or you can follow kin page i will update on this or you can also follow praveen kulkarni Came, Pramin Kulkarni came. Okay, uh, definitely I'll inform and please be in touch. I've given the number also. Okay, goodbye. So God bless you. Goodbye. Kushpen, bye bye. Next class will be maybe day after tomorrow. Right? Bye bye.